All right, so I just want to show you guys where you could find Forge Alloy and start playing with it if you uh, wanted to. So if you come over to the Forge Networking Remastered GitHub repository, by the way, uh, 936 stars is amazing. Thank you guys so much for participating and, and enjoying this project. Um, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it started for some weird reason about solitaire, don't ask, uh, and it, uh, it kind of went crazy, and it's pretty amazing to see all of the people who use it and see all the games that, that, that use it and all the ideas that happen, and it's inspiring for me to be even just a small piece of that. Um, but of course, it's not just me, it's, it's obviously everyone else who's contributed, which is a lot of people. Uh, so... Mushy stuff aside, let's talk about where to get Alloy. So if you go over here where the branch is, Branch Master, uh, jump down to Alloy. There's an Alloy branch directly inside of this repository, and you'll find a Forge Alloy folder. And inside of here is the Unity project. There's some doc stuff I'm working on. There's tests, and there's all kinds of other stuff that is in the works. Now, this is not to say go and use this in your project, but if you have some inkling to mess with it and contribute, uh, this is where Forge Alloy is, and uh, I'm going to write some more docs and get some more videos about how it works as I go along. Um, inside of the Forge folder is where the main fold, uh, Forge code is. There's a Forge solution. You just open that up inside of your IDE and build it, and it will build into the Unity project. And you can attach and debug that DLL as well inside of Unity. So uh, this is kind of where all the code is, and one approach, like I said, inside of the slideshow is test-driven development and focusing on design patterns. So you'll find that a lot of things follow uh, design patterns and design pattern namings. Uh, you'll also see that a large portion of the uh, project doesn't have any classes that go beyond 100 lines of code, maybe one, maybe two. Uh, but th with that test-driven development, we wound up with a lot smaller classes, which is fantastic for being able to figure out what's going on, debug, and test. So if you have any suggestions, any thoughts, or any concerns, or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know in Discord. And uh, this is just how you can get to that alloy branch. If you already have Forge Networking Remastered cloned onto your machine, just jump over to the alloy branch, pull, and check out the Forge Alloy folder. That's where all the stuff is. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.